G'day. Today we're doing a repair on a Ford Territory 2007 model here. Four litre, six cylinder. And he's complaining loss of power problem. Just do a quick scan on it, see if we can get any fault codes. Just plugs in here where the fuse box is. No codes found on the generic. Just back from a test run, and it definitely won't rev over about two and a half thousand revs. I don't believe it's a transmission in this instance. Probably either a fuel problem or an electrical pro or a exhaust problem. Okay, so we've got no codes, no fault codes, no engine codes, and if you have a look. flat to the floor, it won't go over, what's that, about 1750 revs. We can get it to go gradually up, but that's it. I believe it's possibly catalytic converter blocked. It looks like someone's done a little bit of work on the exhaust here. It doesn't look like it's been off, so we've sprayed it with WD-40. Looks like someone's repaired a section in here. Uh, one way to test the catalytic, if you've got a, uh, a laser temperature gun, is to measure the temperature before the catalytic and after. Um, if there's a blockage, it's going to get really hot in there, and I can actually feel that it's quite hot already. Hardly even... You saw how long I drove it for. So another way you can do it, I'm just going to loosen the exhaust there and we're going to just try it uh, without the exhaust hooked up. If it revs over two and a half thousand we know it's a blocked catalytic. So I've got it nice and loose and now we can see if it'll rev up over two and a half thousand. It's going to be pretty noisy now. There's no restriction there now, so not the transmission, it's a blocked catalytic converter. Now we've got the catalytic out, and what I might just do, just out of curiosity, we're going to try and uh, flush it out, blow it out, see what sort of muck's in there. See what comes out of it. Well, you can see it's definitely blocked. That should have water and muck coming out of there. See, it's so blocked it's actually holding the water. We've found what the problem is. Now we've got the new catalytic there, we'll just unwrap it. Here to do a comparison. You see that one looks very similar. We just need to swap over these heat shields onto this one. We've got the top heat shield on and have a look at that if you can see that just the quality of the aftermarket exhausts there's MIG wire in there and a big dollop of weld on the inside there we go got it all back in just have to take the plug out for the A2 sensor and put that in and job's done. Thank you for watching.